Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, what I have here is, uh, I guess you can call it as the apostles call it, going to the comic board. And a brother asks a question. And this is from a video I did yesterday uh, dealing with this boycotting from the NBA basketball team. And I also, I believe, the uh, Major League Baseball League. But uh, you had the NBA players read a script and tell you why they postponed these, uh, these games. And it was due to this guy named Jacob Blake who got shot seven times. All right. So uh, the brother here, the description is... Uh, my YouTube, it says the trippy shit. When this Babylon crashes, what about us as fathers and the truth with newborns? Circumcision procedures, penatal supply, hygiene supplies. This shit hit me all at once right now. Could you go into a lesson about this? Op? You know, so, you know, here I am uh, in hopes to edify you in the spirit and power of your high about you, shy. You know, so with those things there, you know, is really of the flesh. And this is why the Lord, you know, he says he will give us the comforter. But you have to be built up. You have to be rooted in his truth and built up. And that's why here at Great Millstone, start with our apostles on, apostles and elders on down. We teach faith. All right. We're preachers of faith. Okay. Of salvation. You know, faith is, is key. Faith is everything. At the end of the day, it's all, it all boils down to faith. You believing in the Lord and trusting in the Lord. All right. You know, let me let me just elaborate a little more. He says, um, uh, us fathers in the truth with newborns, you know, having a newborn, you know, you have to really, really put your mind, you know, and your focus upon the Lord and all these things will follow, you know, and as the scriptures say, which I'm going to get, you know, and you have to be strong minded. You know, and believing in the Lord, you know, even to swallow the worst. All right. The Lord train the Lord trains us up. You know, he, he breaks us down, but he builds us up uh, mentally, spiritually and even physically. You know, he breaks us down and builds us up with a strong, uh, a strong mindset. OK, where Yahweh Shai spoke, you know, counting the costs. You know, before you came in this truth, you count the costs. All right. You know that being in this truth, trouble, trouble is set before you. You know that being in this truth is a is going through the straight gate. You know, knowing that you're a number one enemy to Edom. And especially to the elites, you know, Edom who run the world. You know, so you put in your body as a living sacrifice. So with that being in mind, that helps you to get helps you to have more faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And plus throughout the time while you exercising this and in and, and your journey in this truth, you know, the Lord do things to increase your faith. You know, like today we're in the uh atonement, which is a a day to reconcile with the Lord and to atone. Alright? We afflict the soul, we afflict our flesh. And we ask the Lord for forgiveness for our sins. This increase your faith. This is one of the, you know, one of the times where the Lord have you increase your faith, where you sacrifice your flesh. You know, so it says us fathers as in the truth with newborns, circumcision procedures. Don't worry about the circumcision procedures. All right. Just worry about focusing you, you know, yourself doing what the Lord Delighting. Okay. Uh, it says prenatal supplies. You know, the baby need milk, baby need prenatal, you know, the nutrients and things. The Lord, the Lord is going to supply that. It says hygiene supplies. The Lord is going to supply that. These are the things that we have to have faith in. You know, the scriptures also say, put off now the mortal flesh. You know, it's a lot of scriptures popping in in my mind, but I, I actually had queued up some scriptures. So I'm just going to quote these scriptures, you know, in the Apocrypha, I believe it's in, um, is it Edris or, 
14, I'll leave it. Maybe I'll put it up in the post-production. Leave off now the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. You know, you got to cast those things away. You know, yeah, we have the flesh and we think of those things and you care about your family. But really, you have to stomach up, you know, and think the worst. You know, what if you lose your family? You're going to fall out the truth. You're going to stop believing. You know, it's all about you. All right. If you write with Yahweh Bashem Shai, may the Lord have mercy on you first and even your loved ones, man. That's how you got to look at it. You know, we're soldiers of Yahweh Shai. It says, this shit hit me all at once right now. Could you go into a lesson about this? I, you know, so let me, um, let's go into a scripture here. I had queued up. This is Matthews 22 and 14. It says, for many are called, but few are chosen. Okay. Many are called into this truth, but only few are the chosen. Meaning only the chosen is going to make it out. All right. By their faith in Yahweh Bashem Shah. You see, so doing the works of the Lord, praying, keeping the holy days, all right, with sincerity and truth, you know, constantly pushing, growing, you know, these are works, but these works exercise your faith. It prepares you to be ready. You know, now we all, we don't know when this thing is going to pop off, but we know it soon. You know, Esau is going to come down hard. So it have to be our minds and spirit. You know, to be ready for that. And the Lord is going to, because he's going to give us the spirit of the comforter. So that leads me to this scripture here I want to grab, which is uh, 2 Peter 1 and 10. You know, because there's nothing really that I can tell you to do physically, you know, to go do this and do that. The only thing I can do is warn you. And hopefully you take the warning Repent unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with fear. You know, that's the first step of learning is having fear in the Lord, you know, to save you and your household. And it's going to take faith, you know. So being built up spirit spiritually and mentally, that's what our, elder, our apostles and elders do here at Great Millstone. All right. Preparing brothers for the, for the worst, preparing brothers, you know, for the stop for the for that stability you know we need stability in these times and that's that wisdom and knowledge so this is second peters 1 and 10 wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things ye shall never fall all right so if you give diligence to make your calling and election sure that's why the work is there you know that work is there so that you can give diligence to it to make your calling and election sure. Now, do we know if we the uh, elect? Well, we hope we do. That's why we say we're the hopeful elect. You know, when you look at it, you ask yourself, well, who else out there is doing of the Lord's work, being of the Lord's elect? You know, so we have confidence that we are. And we do the things that the Lord said to do, all right, to give that diligence to make our calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay? Ye shall never fall. So now let me go into Matthews 22 because Yahweh Shai, you know, he said it, he said it, uh, said it the best, man. You know? He said it the best. Let's see here. Where should I start? So lock yeah. Uh Nope, I said Matthew 22, it's Matthew 6, excuse me, Matthew 6, you know what, uh, since we are in the atonement, okay, let's read, let's start at 14, let's start at 13. It says, Matthew 6 and 13, and let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and power and glory forever to wop. Okay, that's the prayer, Yahweh Shai, which the end of the prayer. Matter of fact, I'll read it, man. I'll read it. Uh, Matthew 6 and 9, after this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, 
which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thou kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into, need, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever to walk. It says, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites or of a sad continence, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. You know, so when you start this atonement, you probably want to go wash your face, you know, get some oil, anoint your head. You want to probably anoint, your, your, you know, if you're a woman in order, you, you know, you got your son, your daughter with you and in your household, you know, go anoint their head, you know, go pray over them. You know, you could do that if you want. You're the head of your house. All right. It says that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret and thy father, which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. All right. Verse 19, lay up thou, lay up not for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and still, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through and still. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So what is the treasures we're laying up in heaven? It's the works. All right. Our sacrifice, our discipline. That we hold toward Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, our faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, our trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahusha for the works that we've done. All right, it says, "For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also." So that's talking about your mind. You know, it's a lot of jokers go through the motions, but their mind is not really fixed on the Lord. You know, so it says, "Where your treasure is, that's where your heart be also." You know, if your treasure is salvation, then that's where your mind is going to be. If your treasure is money. You know, things of the world, then that's where your mind going to be. It says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thou art be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. All right, let me jump down here some. Let's go to 25. It says, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body. What ye shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. All right, so the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, he said, take no thought for your life. Stop caring about your life. Now, we in the flesh, you know, so we are going to care to a some extent. Nobody wants to die, you know, or, you know, wants to be killed by Esau in so manner. But guess what? The Lord told us the, the movie already, you know. So if you take your mind off your life, take no thought for your life and what you shall eat, you know, that's going into the supplies you know, for your your, your, your your newborn, you know, the, the nutrition things that you need, the hygiene, all right? And what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment, all right? Isn't your life more important than those things? Those things is, uh, can be given to you easily. And we, it's going it's gonna to get into that. Uh, it says, behold, the fowls of the air and thou... And for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, and toil you not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? All right. So, you know, I know you by asking this question is sincere, but it just shows a lack of faith, you know, and, and a lack of knowledge, you know, and that's that's what you're here for, you know, you know, to get the understanding, hopefully. All right. Hopefully you are. All right. 
And Yahweh Shah will call this little faith. You know? So really, it says, uh, you know, don't worry about those things because the Lord will provide those things. All right? And you gotta have you gotta have faith that he is. You know, you gotta have faith that he will. You know, that should be your faith. Don't be what it, what if in. You know, you gotta be in your mind when we, you know, when you say your prayers at the end, brothers say, you know, the water, the water, the water, the water. The water means thank you. You know, when you put a prayer to the Lord, you're already telling the Lord, thank you for doing it already. <laughs> you know? So that's in a way. Of, of, of saying it's going to be done You know or it's already done You know if, if someone If there's a Person next to you and you say Can you hand me that glass of water Thank you It's like they automatically You know doing it That person will say well damn can I grab it first How you know I wanted to grab it You know so we kind of Kind of sort of like a demand But it's in faith and humbleness You know because these are the things the Lord knows we need it says, therefore, take no thought saying what ye shall eat, see, or what ye shall drink. That all applies. That all applies, brother. You know, the uh, circumcision procedure. We at the end. The Lord knows what's going on. It's all about your faith. All right. The uh, prenatal supply, the hygiene supplies. The Lord knows we need these things, man. You know, what's more important is that you believe in the Lord and trusting in him. That's why the Lord said, wait ye upon me till I rise up to, to uh, rise up to the prey. My determination is to gather the nations, you know, so it's all about waiting and patient. It says, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. All right. The other nations, they seek these things. They go crazy if they can't uh, have these things. You know, Esau himself, he had jumped out a window. When he feel like he's 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 uh, headed down poverty poverty lane, you know, when he's going back into this low state, you know, when he was this rich man, you know, they kill themselves. Jake don't kill themselves because why? We're spiritual, all right. We're stronger. That's why it goes into the the characteristics of Jacob and Esau, all right. Esau wasn't spiritual, all right. Jacob is stronger, stronger than stronger in what? Physically, we're stronger mentally. And spiritually Esau wasn't spiritual That's why he sold his birthright <clears throat> It says For your heavenly father knoweth That ye have need of all these things But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh And his righteousness And all these things shall be added unto you So that answers your question Yahweh Shah himself said it Alright But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh And his righteousness And all these things shall be added unto you I'll say this to help, you know, if you feel like, you know, you half assing, probably uh, committing sin, you know, going off, that should put you in fear, you know, that should check you, your mind should be damn, yo, you know, you know, the Lord, you know, destroy me for that, he can, you know, destroy me for, for, for my family member or who, who I want to make it, you know, but it's all according to the Lord, you know. But for your sake and your mind's sake, you know, when you go off, that's when you 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 fear. I mean, excuse me, where you think, you know, you 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 humble yourself and you know, and you feel like you know, well, damn, you know, if this happened, it's probably because of this, you know. So it's to check you, you know, because you have to fear Yahweh Bashem was shy. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take. Therefore, no thought for tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. It says, for tomorrow shall take thought for itself, for things of itself sufficient unto the day. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, you know. And I got one more scripture and I'm going to end it with that. This is in the book of Acts 16. And uh, remember the story here with Paul and Silas and the men. But Paul were persecuted and uh, they got beaten, cast into prison. And this happened. I'm going to just read through. You know, you can always read this yourself and get into it. All right. But I'm going to read through it just to hit the point. It says, Acts 16, 22, and the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrates ran off their clothes and commanded to beat them. 
And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging a jailer to keep them safely, who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the, in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto Yahweh, and, the, and prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and every one's band were loose. And the keeper of the prison, awakening out of out of his sleep, all right. Keep in mind the keeper of the prison. Okay, he was awakened out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword, and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. Now this is the prisoner, all right, the Roman soldier, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? It says, verse 31, And they said, Believe on the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and thou shalt be saved and thou house. So you have to believe on the Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, to even be saved for yourself. And it says, and thou house. All right, meaning you put that cast covering over your, over the ones who you love, you know, in your house, in your immediate house, you know, your wife, children, you know. You know, unless the Lord, you know, has, you know, has to play out judgment upon these individuals, you know, whether your your wife, son, you know, whoever. And, and you know, they do that. That don't mean I mean, the Lord, you know, kind of he takes them out. You know, it doesn't mean that the Lord is uh, uh, is not is uh, it's not perfect. All right. Things just have to be done. This is the Lord's movie. So. You know, hopefully you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.